hello guys all fine so in this video we are going to show you how to install linux or zorin os on any of your laptop alongside with windows means we are going to install zorin os a linux distro as a dual boot operating system means in some cases you might need windows and windows would be ready for you and in some cases like for coding and other things you also have Linux installed on your computer or laptop, so you can dual boot both of those lap operating systems and use either of these operating systems without removing data from any of these operating systems. So let's get started. For this, you need to create a bootable USB drive for Zorin OS, and in my case, I already did this. If you want to know how to create such USBs, I have given a link in the description. You can go ahead and watch that video it's super small and you it would be a lot informative for creating bootable USB drive and now you are good to go and now first thing you have to also create a small partition at least 40 to 50 GB on which we are going to install zone in OS as I have created already a 50 GB D drive alongside my Windows 11 drive and this is our D drive okay this is a 256 GB SSD and from which I take 50 GB as a D drive in which we are going to install Zorin OS. So you should also create some a partition if you don't know how to create partition like this. So you can check the video link in the description. I have also taught this how to create and delete and do part with more with partitions. So you can create partition like 50 gigs or 40 gigs. So after you do that, now we are good to go install. So the first thing we need to do is we have to first go into our boot manager and for that some laptops have different BIOS key, some computers have different BIOS key. The easiest way to find the BIOS key for your laptop or computer, you can just go ahead and on Google and search for your model name and space boot, boot manager hotkey or key like for this specifically Lenovo laptop as you can see Lenovo laptop it's F12 in my case and it also has a Nova button kind of thing which you can do that to boot into BIOS and boot manager so first thing first you have to check your battery level as well it's above it should above 40 percent and then shut down your laptop or computer and at this point you can also plug in your USB drive which is essential and I will recommend you to use a USB 3.0 because it's a lot faster you should also plug it in to a USB 3.0 port for, for ultimate experience and the fastest speed from your laptop so I will plug it in into one of the port which is my types USB 3.0 port and then I would turn the power on the computer a laptop so that's power this thing on and keep on pressing F12 to go into the boot mode manager. There we go. Keep on pressing, and we are in the boot manager. So here you can see my USB drive name. It's a EFI USB device. It's a Kingston device. It's a 3.0 device. I told you before. So now you have to select this third option. To select this, you have to go down and by these arrow keys present on your computer lab keyboard uh, up one small down key go to this option now it's selected now just hit enter to start booting from the USB drive the top one is the option which you have to select and then just press enter start booting up so we have to wait here's the Zorin OS logo so now it's showing the Zorin OS animation, boot animation so we have to wait for a few seconds for it to complete ok Zorin has already shown and then we are now going to boot up into the setup screen Okay, so we are in the installer right now. So we are right now in the installer. 
so now it's asking you as two options you can try it to run this from usb drive if you like the operating system you can go ahead and install the Otherwise, if you don't like then that's enough you can just plug in your plug out your usb drive turn off your laptop and then turn it on back again it will boot normal so we don't want to turn try Zorin OS if you want you can click here but we want to install Zorin OS directly so we will click on Zorin OS install Zorin OS and here you have language options if you want to change but English is okay for me then click on install Zorin OS in my case we am already seen how Zorin OS works that's why I'm installing it I've already clicked on now we are having keyboard layout UK keyboard so I'll click on English UK and you can type your test your keyboard here then continue now it's asking you to connect to internet but I will give you this option to don't connect it right now and this is a better option I would say because it would take a bit more time if you connect it with these such networks so it's simple just click on continue so now it's actually asking install third party software with graphics and everything that's great okay and configure secure boot so just uncheck this and then click on continue so now this is the first option which is installed Zorin OS along with Windows Boot Manager means all of your files will be um, kept in the hard drive and Windows won't be there. Okay. And second option is Erase Disk and install Zorin OS. It will delete all the partition and just install Windows. We'll install Zorin OS. Sorry. And we want someone else because something else because we want to install Zorin OS alongside with Windows. So we have to click on something else and then click on continue just wait for a few seconds now it will show you all of your drives here actually here is my drives and this is my drive which is that has a data at 750 ssg which is a 256 gb ssg so click on this and then we have a lot of partitions here so here we can see Windows boot manager says the second one is unknown 10 MB oh sorry 16 MB and this is our 200 GB of size of partition which is actually our Windows drive in which Windows is installed on our documents and stuff is inside this it's a C drive and it's actually 200 GB in size and the third and next one is actually 50 GB it's a 53.7 GB which we have created partition in which we are going to install Zorin OS so you should be very careful while choosing these drives because a single wrong click can completely delete your drive wipe out your drive after selecting the right drive right click on the drive and click on delete on that drive which you want to install Zorin OS which is this one 50 GB actually so now this free here it will say free space 1 MB and here is our free space which is again saying 53 GB so then you have to right click on it and click on add and in this laptop we have 8 GB of RAM so you have to write 8 GB of RAM in here in MB so 800 8 GB is equals to 800 8000 8000 MB something and then you have to click on logical and end of this space and so now we have to click on use as swap swap area click on this and then click on ok ok and now we will have be waited for a few seconds and here we have created uh, here is this unknown swap area here is it can see you as you can see here swap and now we are left with 
45 GBs. Uh, now you have to click on right click on this, click on add and then logical end of the space okay exe4 journaling file system and mount point click on this first slash select this one and then just click on ok wait for it to format according to the linux linux file system so now here is it see and we have also got a tick in here which means it's selected drives then you have to select it this one and then just click on install now so simple linux is not complicated as most of the people think it it's very simple also it's whenever you have first installed windows i'm 100 percent sure that the part that first time was very hard for you to understand its core concepts like partition and everything but after you do understand all of those things it was super simple for you same with the linux when you understand all of its partitions and everything it's super simple to install now she is saying write the changes to disk so linux has a good everything amazing thing that whatever we have done right now has nothing happened with our drive actually we can still go back and completely undo all of these actions we have done but you will have to continue after click on continue you can't undo the changes which you have done so you have to click on continue and now it's actually spinning loading it means now saying where do you live so i live in pakistan click on pakistan and we have selected karachi pakistan so just click on continue so now in your account name so i am giving it some account name So now just click on continue. Now the installation will begin and in just a few seconds or maybe a few minutes this installation will be done. So you will just wait for a few minutes depending on your computer, hardware speed and your, and your USB drive speed so it would take some time. Installation has been done completely and it's also showing us this option that installation complete. Restart now the computer just click on restart now to restart it right now and now it will restart so now it's restarting now it's saying please remove the installation medium then press enter it means that first we have to remove our usb drive and then we have to press enter so let's remove the usb drive and now press enter Now the laptop will boot up directly into the Zorin OS. Let's wait for it. Now it's booting up as you can see. On the first boot it will ask you whether you want to run Windows or Zorin OS. And the line is going on which will automatically turn on the Zorin OS. Now it's opening up or booting up Zorin OS directly. So now we have to wait for a few seconds to complete this process. And it's right now download. Now booting up. So we have to wait. Laptop has booted up into this screen. Click on our account name. There we go. And now we have to enter our password, which we said before, and just press enter. And now we are inside of our Zorin OS first boot. Let's see how it boots up. Oh, here's the wallpaper we have seen okay so it's giving you a get start like windows like get start of everything what these new features and everything let's click on start tour okay next it's actually asking us it's telling us that this is our start button kind of thing for in the linux we have to click on next now it's asking us three appearances now let's launch zone appearance these are the appearances which we can select okay next next okay it's an ecosystem kind of thing which is link your phone and computer with zone connect and your android phone you have to install uh, zone connect from play store then you can share files use your computer phone as a remote control of your computer and more 
notifications uh, on your computer, your phone, into your laptop, or computer, everything kind of that. And if this is your uh, store for application downloading and installing, it's same as Microsoft Store, which is available in Windows 10 and 11. Let's go next. And this is the LibreOffice, which is actually Microsoft Office kind of alternative and click next okay it's actually linking out that's it that was the features now you can click on close and here we are in our Zorin OS okay. the appearance of this actually but it can't literally beat Windows 11 it's in its appearance Windows 11 has a complete different kind of appearance which this can't beat up but according to other um, Linux distros this is the best one because it actually is the best appearance kind of software so we are in the screen brightness blind screen and the biggest benefit of installing Linux is that you don't have to install any any kind of driver or anything because it's pre-installed as you can see my Wi-Fi is working in here let me show you here are all the Wi-Fi's I have my network connection mm -hmm. Bluetooth background. Let's change the background to a nice one. Um, this one is pretty good. So these are for super fast and snappy. It's like literally like 10 times faster than Windows 10 or 11. Literally, it takes me up 1 GB of RAM and just 1 GB of RAM. Super amazing very really great just taking like uh, one or two percent maybe more less than that percent so i hope that this, this video will be beneficial for you uh, helpful for you to installing zorin os on your laptop so don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video or if you have any query or any question comment below and don't forget to subscribe because in the next video we are going to show you guys how to literally install zorin os completely on your drive without dual boot means there will be only Zorin OS no dual booting for Windows so stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching